<laughs> hey guys, how are you? Uh, yes, it is our first time going live. Uh, I have no idea how this is going to work out, but we just watched our first episode of Vacation Tuesday. So thank you very much for those of you that uh, joined us. Have you ever felt like you were uh, alone? <laughs> well, here we go. So I thought we would take a couple of seconds. I got to, we're still working out the technical things. And I thought I would answer some questions about travel or whatever it is you want to talk about in terms of travel. I am all for it. I don't really know how the chat situation is working, although I think I can see it on this monitor over here. So as a matter of fact, I'm going to say something on this monitor because it says to say something. So I am going to say hello. All right, there we go. So there you go. I said hello. Now, if you have a question, go ahead and ask me. Uh, look, I've spent the last 20 years uh, on the road uh, doing a show called Beyond Your Backyard for PBS. And so I'm very excited about that. Oh, Paula says hello. Hello, Paula. It's nice to see you. Uh, I did prepare some questions that people sent in, some students sent in via email. You can do that at vacationtuesday.com. So I thought I would get right to it. Again, you can ask your questions right here on the chat. Oh, oh boy. Here we go with the Thank you very much, Oscar. Appreciate that. All right, it's for kids. Everybody calm down. All right, Evan says, is it scary to fly in an airplane? That's a great question. Evan T., I can't say where they're from. I wouldn't do that for you. I have to think I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. How about, oh, oh, nice. Um, is it scary to fly in a plane? That's a really good question because that begs the question, well, I mean, no. And, and usually... How scary it may be depends upon the size of the plane you're in. I've certainly been in plenty of small planes. I actually took a flying lesson. We made a video about that uh, on our YouTube channel. By the way, here are the two things you need to remember. EricTheTravelGuy.com, VacationTuesday.com. So everything we do is there and, of course, our YouTube channel as well. But, no, it's not. And if you've never flown before, I know most of you have. But for those of you that haven't, uh, it's not scary at all. You know, you don't really think about it, but it's science at work. And it's actually a pretty simple principle called the Bernoulli principle uh, of flight, uh, which has everything to do with uh, speed and weight and wind and, you know, all that kind of technical stuff. That's one of the things we covered in our first episode because we got to go on the flight deck of an airplane, which was kind of cool. Uh, for takeoff uh, here at JFK. So if you want to watch that, if you didn't see our first episode of Vacation Tuesday, uh, you can see it there. Um, so anyway, good question. The answer is no, it's not scary to fly at all. Uh, Claire S. asks, what is your favorite place that I have visited in the world? You know, I get that question a lot. And it's hard to answer, but I'm going to give you an answer because I think it's appropriate for me to answer the question when asked. Um, one of my favorite places in the world is Cozumel, Mexico. And the reason I love visiting there is because I happen to be a sunshine kind of guy. I like the sun. So uh, down there it's hot and you have the beach. And, and the Caribbean water, for those of you that haven't been to see the Caribbean Sea up close and personal, maybe on a cruise or maybe you know one of these islands, it really is spectacularly blue. It is gorgeous. It's one of my favorite bodies of water in the world. So I'm a big, I'm a big Mexico uh, fan, in addition to places in this country. So if I had to pick one, if you're really nailing me down, Claire, to this, uh, it would be Cosmo, Mexico. All right, Tiffany B. All right, Paul has a question. Are there things to do besides the historic stuff in Gettysburg? Well, that is a good question. Thank you for asking, because yes, we, I had been to Gettysburg a couple of times prior to shooting uh, this episode uh, for Beyond Your Backyard and for Vacation Tuesday. And I was surprised to learn how much nature there is there. So like getting out and learning more about the rivers and the streams. You know, Pennsylvania is a, is a pretty cool, big state um, to begin with. So yeah, you know, that's what I particularly enjoyed. I, I also happen to be a food guy, uh, so I love the food. So one of the cool things I found that you can do in Gettysburg is you can actually have a meal uh, eating dishes and recipes that people had in the mid-1800s. Uh, I thought that was really cool. The Dobbin House comes to mind and some other places. So if you want to get a sense of like, well, what did people eat, say, in you know 1860? That was one of the cool things uh, I found out there. Also, Gettysburg is a big ghost tour town. Uh, so if that's your thing, we had a lot of fun uh, shooting uh, with that uh, as well. So 
yes, there's plenty to do. It's a small town. That's the other thing I like about Gettysburg. There aren't big, tall buildings. You can walk around downtown. You can, you know, stretch your legs a little bit. But the battlefield really is the star of the show. And the battlefield, the uh, visitor center, uh, the National Park Service, that was one of those places that you would think would be stuffy, uh, but wasn't. Uh, and kind of boring, uh, but wasn't. They spent a lot of time um, doing that and, and, put, and doing, doing it right, I should say. So thank you. Good question on that. All right. Matthew R. says, where are you going next? Well, that's a loaded question, of course. We are in our coronavirus uh, world that we live in at the moment. Um, but we are headed off to uh, Montauk. And we're going off to Vermont. Those are the two stops that we're making next. So you will see that on uh, future episodes of Vacation Tuesday. So we're staying a little closer to home. Uh, as you know, I live here in the state of New Jersey, and that's where our studios are. And this is this is our... So most of the stuff I shoot is right there on that uh, green screen right over there. But this is our little set. Um, so you get a little behind-the-scenes look. Matter of fact, speaking of airplanes, like right behind me there, that is an Airbus A380 model. Uh, I'm kind of a aviation dork. <laughs> so that's a double-decker plane. So I have a model there from uh, Airbus. So Matthew, that's where we're headed off next. Uh, finally, Nadia asks, how many people travel with you when you travel to make your show? Well, that's a really good question because, you know, it, it depends on where we're going and why we're going. But generally speaking, when we're making a television show, we travel with uh, four people. Usually, three to four, depending. We try to keep the crew light uh, in terms of the number of people around because we like to move uh, quite a bit when we shoot. So we move around, and it's the more people you have, the harder it is to move people around. So you've got a logistical issue uh, to deal with there. So uh, generally speaking, it's... Uh, but we've shot episodes with two people, believe it or not. We've shot episodes with, with four people. I think right now, I'd have to look at the numbers, but I think we've got somewhere around... Uh, 50 episodes of Beyond Your Backyard that we've shot. That's on PBS. That's on our website as well. Um, but, you know, doing that show, you talk about learning. I mean, I learned so much doing that show of places that I think I, I already knew about. Uh, uh, and you always learn more. And I, I guess that's the point of the, of the whole thing is when you start to explore and even learning about the exploration, uh, you get to learn more when you do it. So we certainly have uh, making this show uh, and making Vacation Tuesday as well. So uh, if you didn't know yet, uh, and the, this is my home studio, which means my cats m may make an appearance. I see one of them. I hear one of them on the way. So you never know. Uh, they like to crawl up the walls sometimes. So that's uh, always a lot of fun. Uh, we are continuing production on Vacation Tuesday. So well, one of the announcements I wanted to make today is that we're going to release our entire season uh, of episodes that you can watch um, they're about 15 minutes a piece. And so we're going to release those either later on today or maybe tomorrow. Uh, that'll be on vacationtuesday.com. And there's a little quiz as well that you can take uh, based on every episode. So thank you for the questions. You can ask questions here. You can ask questions. Uh, you can send a little uh, form, a little, you can send us a note. We're going to do it again at 1.30 in the afternoon. And my cat's names uh, are Max and Zoe, in case I have two of them. Why have one when you can have two? Um, Max and Zoe. Max is over here at the moment. Um, yes, I have two. No dogs, just cats uh, and two children. So there you go. And a partridge and a pear tree. Uh, all right, that's it for a live Q&A for the adults watching. Uh, there's a video I would suggest you take a look at if, you're, you, know, if you love to travel uh, about the vacation ecosystem. That's something that we talk about uh, quite a bit in terms of saving money and, and whatnot. So thank you for joining me for the live q and I don't know how to stop this thing. So I, you know, this could go on for quite some time, <laughs> uh, but do uh, send a note and say hello and, and we'll see you again uh, next week or uh, this afternoon. If you come up with a question, we'll be here at one thirty this afternoon, uh, travel or related to the episode or any, anything like that. So thanks for watching. I'll see you later. I'm sliding off this way, I think. Okay. I'll see you. And then I got to figure out how to hit stop, which I don't know how to do. So just to be clear. All right, see ya. Okay, how do we hit the stop button? I gotta find out. There's a button right here. Uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna mute my microphone. Boy, they don't make this easy, do they? Oh, there's a light switch. You can see that's nice. No, I, I guess I'm gonna be live uh, forever. This is how it's gonna work. Uh, all right, here we go. Thanks for watching. See ya.